What's up, sports bettors? Matt here with Odge Jam, a.k.a. Jedi Modi. Let's lock in some last-minute player props for Sunday night football tonight. So tonight we have the Broncos at home going off against the 49ers. Pretty gross game based on what the odds makers are expecting with a little bit a uh, little bit of a lower total, like 44, 45 and a half last I checked. 49ers are slight favorites here, which I thought was funny because uh, the markets opened up and the Broncos were favored and then everybody just hammered the 49ers. We're like, there's there's no scenario in which in which the Broncos should be favored against the 49ers. So the market's correctly adjusted. 49ers are now the favorite. But in this video, we were going to be locking in some player props. So of course, whenever I'm looking in to lock in some bets, the first place and really only place I go to is Odds Jam is the positive expected value page. Using Odds Jam, you can get betting opportunities that provides betting opportunities, I should say, in which you are gaining the edge over the sports book. So we see a bunch of plays here. These are all going to be good with the recommended but filters button selected. Every play that shows up here is going to be mathematically profitable, is going to be a good bet to lock in. So you see a bunch of plays on here. If you have Odd Jam, lock these in before the games start. I am going to specifically be looking at a play for Sunday Night Football tonight to give people time to watch this and lock these bets in. So pretty easy. What I ended up doing is I just control F Broncos, as you can see up here. Another thing you can do is if you uh, take off the recommended filters, you can look specifically for a game. But for me, I wanted to see what plays, <clears throat> excuse me, showed up with the filters on. So I knew that those were already profitable and we had one play. So what we're looking at here is Brandon Ayuk basically to have 50 plus receiving yards. So if you're locking this in on FanDuel, which is what the bet is on at plus 102 on FanDuel, you have to go to alternate receiving yards and to score into, excuse me, to record 50 plus yards. So this is going to be a half unit play for me, 50 bucks to win 51. Brandon Ayuk, alt receiving yards, 50 plus. But I really like it. Uh, it's positive EV showing up on the odds GM page as positive expected value. The no big odds, which is this column right here, no big odds prices this at basically plus 100, making it a 50-50 play, a little bit below like minus 107, or excuse me, minus 101 or minus 100.07. <laughs> so um, basically a plus 100, minus 100 play, 50-50 chance that we are getting at plus 102. So not a monster gap between those two numbers, but still a gap between the two numbers, which means that there's still positive expected value associated with it. In this case, about 1%. So I just made 1% return on a bet that will settle tonight. Another reason why I like it is if you click into a play, it pulls up what every book is pricing it. And every book is basically telling you what we see here from the Nova gods. They think it's a 50-50 play, except for Caesars, which has it at minus 119, the under at minus 115. They're favoring the over in this case. But every other book, 50-50, 50-50 across the board, including two of the sharpest sports books in the world in bet online and pinnacle sportsbook the odds jam line these are the same so this plus 102 on fanduel is an outlier when you compare it to the rest of the sports books so that's why i liked this one that is why i locked it in i also like it with jimmy g back their passing offense is going to be opened up uh you figure patrick sertan is going to uh be primarily matched up against debo even though debo is much more than just a receiver he's an offensive weapon but Patrick Sertan's banged up, so you wonder how healthy he's even going to be. And I like I like Ayuk in this one to get 50 plus. 50 plus. I think that's a good one. Um, the next bet that I wanted to lock in was an anytime touchdown score. So this is something that you can access on Odd Jam for completely free. You just go to sports, NFL, you click the specific game, or you can search. So you can literally just search Broncos, and it shows up here. Um, and then you, this drop down here pulls up odds for pretty much every market. So if you wanted to look at the main three, like the money line, point spread, and total, all on one page, you can do that here. But in this case, I want to lock it in anytime touchdown score. Now, the obvious names here are going to be Debo Samuel. Best odds you can get him at are plus 120 on DraftKings. Not great value with plus 115, plus 110. The next one is the 49ers running back, Jeff Wilson which plus 150 on Betfred isn't terrible. Um, I can't use Betfred, but if, for those of you at home who can, this is actually pretty good, the plus 150 on Betfred. I also like it at plus 145, only five cents lower on Caesars. On the Broncos side, it's Cortland Sutton, which you can get him at plus 190. 
that passing offense scares me. Who really knows what's going on with the Broncos offense? And then, of course, the running backs, right? We're looking at Javante Williams, plus 155 again on Betfred, and Melvin Gordon, plus 180 on BetMGM. For me, my favorite play to score a touchdown is actually in his first game back, George Kittle at plus 220 on FanDuel. As we can see, 205, plus 180, plus 175, plus 180, plus 205, plus 210. So PlayUp has it a little bit closer at Pinnacle and Betfred a little bit, but the other three have it plus 180, plus 175. I like this one, plus 220. Um, I think George Kittle, assuming he is healthy, which I think he is, probably going to be targeted a ton. Um, and you worry about the Broncos defense. Uh, their starting safety is already out, Justin Simmons, who's like they're probably the best player on defense. Now Sertan's banged up. So this one, I'm just going to put a quarter unit on it, 25 to win 55. So basically, if one of these plays hits, then you will be profitable. So that's going to be it. Those are going to be my two player prop bets for the game tonight. We're looking at George Kittle, anytime touchdown score. And we're looking at Brandon Ayuk over 49 and a half receiving yards. And that's it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy the game tonight and have a good one.